What the fuck is that? I, <laughs> I hadn't checked. Nico added this. I hadn't seen it until now. It's just a world. <laughs> oh my gosh, we've got like music and shit. Wait, drama alert. Wrong shape. That's not the world shape yet, yeah, is, is it not? Production quality is going crazy. Well, everybody, welcome. Welcome back. That was, let's do that again. Wait, go back. Whoa. <laughs> I think I, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Okay, I love it. Nico Picasso. This is news recap. We're talking about our last week. We're talking about what's going on. We're gossiping and we're spreading misinformation and rumors if we have them. Bad news. Women's month is officially over. It's coming to an end. We have approximately one, two, th three, three more full days left of women's month. And then it's going to go back to the men. I, I set the word the world ablaze by starting the name 100 women trend. And now chat, it's your chance. Go, name 100 women. Cutie, okay, Pokemon, cutie, Pokemon. Okay, well, you guys are good. You guys killed it. Annabelle Danger, I don't think that's a real one. Obama's wife doesn't count. Jessica Rabbit does not count. Monica Lewinsky feels targeted. Well, some of your favorite streamers have done this. I, I didn't get to see them all, so I think it's time we, we check some of them out. Point Crow's run. He said, I'm sorry to women everywhere. And he got 46 minutes and 14 seconds. Next, we have Ludwig's challenge. Ludwig got 20 minutes and 30 seconds. We also have Northern Lions runs, which he has nothing to apologize for. Vanessa Kirby, Vanessa, Vanessa Williams, Williams, Diana, Diana Ross, Ross, and Donna, and Donna Summer. Summer. Go back Go to back live, to live split. split. Time? Time? Six, Six minutes, minutes, 54, 54 seconds, seconds, 88 milliseconds. No. How's that, brother? How's that for naming 100 women? Sub seven minutes? I'm going to have someone gather everybody's runs and we're gonna give awards, yes, mini, mini streamers awards for whoever named the most amount of porn stars. We're gonna do fastest time. We're gonna do award for longest time. The woman that got named the most. Best apology for being slow, exactly. So we do have a work in progress here. We will have a full recap stream of the women's runs. Watch parties, everybody. Watch parties have been canceled on Twitch. You guys know this, you've seen it. You've seen the drama online. Watch parties leave on April 1st or April 2nd. April 2nd is the last day. That's when watch parties are leaving. Yeah, really sad. We've only ever done them on uh, Daddy Issues 420. Uh, we did watch only season one of America's Next Top Model, which is really sad because we didn't get to see the rest of the fat phobia and body shaming that we wanted to, but you know, these things happen. Sometimes you run out of time to do the things you love. Zach Busey tweeted this out. He said, Twitch is shutting down the Prime Video Watch Party feature on April 2nd, as usage of watch parties on Twitch has declined over the years, which is true, because not many people do this, because when you do this, you also lose viewership for the majority of the time, because everyone has to sign into their Amazon, and it's really kind of a bit of a pain in the butt. Watch Party is another example of a feature that was launched and had almost no development invested ever since. Okay, Zach, I don't like your attitude. Take your bussy and get it out of here. However, really, the reason watch parties weren't used is because the Eras tour didn't end up on Prime Watch Party. We would have watched that every night and that's not my problem. And now all of us are calling our congressmen and we're getting <laughs> the Eras tour added to the Prime Watch Party before April 2nd, okay? Call them, do you know your list? We're not that disappointed over here because Let's be honest, I'm not a very good streamer, but a good streamer, Will Neff, is pretty sad. He said, watch parties are drawing to a close, marking the end of an unforgettable era. After three years of film class and approximately 200 movies, it's heartbreaking to believe that we've nurtured a genuine film enthusiast. Now, Will Neff and the rest of streamers are gonna have to go back to watching movies illegally on stream and waiting to get an email saying they've been DMCA'd. It's really, really sad. With our deepest condolences here from me, cause I care, Cutie at late night, late night with Cutie, I am so sorry to everyone affected by this loss. This is tragic. Maybe, just maybe we can get by without watching movies, but probably not here, not us. Because turns out Dan Clancy, the Twitch CEO. Cancel Twitch watch party. I am not guilty. Not even talk. Tell me of your innocence. 
since I know these things. I am not guilty of of canceling the Twitch Watch party. Oh, he's been after my horse. Yes. Yes. I am not guilty. Let me see the. I oh, can't read, so I believe you. Yes. You must be guilty. They make I'm that up. Guilty. Yes, we do. <laughs> and you are guilty until proven innocent. Lock him up. Oh, no. Naughty biscuit. Naughty biscuit. That's my boss, everybody. He pays me. In other news, <laughs> Riot's president of esports, John Needleham, Needham, that's his name, Needham, John Needham, talks about new strategies and a new business model to help save the LCS, LEC, and LCK. <laughs> We're just excited about the ham part, aren't we? Uh, these strategies include changes to revenue sharing for teams that rely on investors and sponsorships and aim to pay teams a fixed stipend to share in revenue from digital content sales. I don't even know what that means. The proposition includes a global revenue pool, which would combine all revenue and distribute into teams in varying amounts according to various criteria. All I know is that TSM is a rip bozo and in order to get them back, we need to call our congressmen. So call your congressman and we'll get TSM back in the LCS. Thank you. After the recent success at the Oscars, the giant monster Godzilla was recently appointed chief of police in Tokyo Station for one day, encouraging everyone to observe traffic safety logs more closely. I love that Jello wrote the note, says, Tokyo. And so I didn't realize it was in Tokyo. It says it says T O K I O. No, it says Tokyo. Then that was Nico. It says Tokyo. I was set up. Never trust anyone in this industry, including including your own people. I was like, I don't know what Tokyo is, but I'm just gonna trust this. I don't want to guess and say there wasn't a place called Tokyo. And then everyone's upset. They're like, he wasn't in Tokyo, you stupid ass. He was in Tokyo. I don't know. Shortly after, shortly after receiving the title, Godzilla destroyed a fire station that was orphaning children. He said, F the police. After one day of working the job, he realized the pay was too low and he wanted some more hose. And so he did this. Graphic design is in fact my passion. Yes, thank you for noticing. And this, this though, he did make sure to leave Tokyo and he did this in Tokyo. He did, he made, he was very respectful. He did not do this to his own citizens in Tokyo. He walked away, he went to Tokyo to destroy the fire station with the orphans in it. That's where the confusion was. I'm really, I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry. Okay, exciting things have been happening on Twitch. If you guys get excited by the same things I get excited by, that is butts and asshole. And also, my voice cracked when I said asshole. <laughs> And also butt butt hair. I've seen a lot of my coworkers butt cracks and butt hairs, and I didn't know that was gonna happen. But we only have a few days to talk about this. Luckily, this is still allowed for me to talk about, but soon this will not be allowed. Morg Pie. Everybody knows Morg Pie, the creator of metas. She created something called Gameplay on Gat. It's a new meta that consists of her wearing green screen colored shorts that puts the game on her booty. And what's a better way to watch a game than on a booty? People were furious about this new trend and promptly called her gameplay complete ass. Thank you. But she was not the only one. Let's watch this clip. Yo, playing Fortnite, yes indeed. And the same amount of luck, you two can look like me. Cut out. What? She's really just really far ahead of our time, and I don't think we should belittle our greatest innovators. Imagine if we said to Mark Twain, Mark Twain, no. Imagine we said, stop it. Imagine we didn't let it progress to oiled up booties in swimsuits sitting on clear chairs. We would never have electricity. So I think it's important for us to really stop shutting ourselves down because we wouldn't get moments like this. That's right, we also saw Trihexes, the face behind the tryhard emote, 
put his gameplay on his ass too. It's, it got pretty intense. However, as you have maybe seen on the internet, this has escalated. We have started seeing booties and thongs doing the same thing, not with gameplay, but just having booty cameras. They've been beautiful. Turns out my mods didn't include them. They might've gotten a little too excited. However, as of today, or as of tomorrow, they'll be gone. Twitch tweeted out, starting on Friday, March 29th, content that focuses on an intimate body parts for prolonged periods of times will not be allowed. So this is another thing I need you all to call your congressmen and tell them that we need butts. Butts need to be back. And we like them because we cannot lie. <laughs> it's literally 1984. Yeah, it's awful out here. Next, we've got we've got gamer news. You guys know me. I cover the most I cover the most gamer news. Apex Legends Regionals held behind closed doors after attack. Monka S, am I right? After a major security incident on Sunday, March 18th, the Apex Legends Regional Finals have now been held behind closed doors and off broadcast without any kind of prior public announcement. One push. Where? Where? Like below here. On my ping. I knocked him there. Yep. Fucking Wait. Wait, what the f- What the f- Don't worry about it, don't worry I'm about getting it. hacked, I'm getting hacked! But I know, I know, it's sure. Can you play the game? Bro, I, I'm getting hacked! I know, but can you play? Can you play? Yeah, but it, I'm, it's cheating! The f- I know, I know, sure. I know, I know, I know. And what? Like, what? No, but is but, it f***ing up your game? Yes, I can see everyone! If I were him, I wouldn't have told anybody, but he decided to. According to official sources, this was done to protect the integrity of the tournament and not to delay upcoming tournaments. I don't know how that happened. Uh, they haven't said how it's happened, but they're giving players a chance for full focus on the game so they won't get hacked. It was later announced that a replay of the finals would be aired a day after on the official Apex Legends Twitch channel. So kind of interesting. Sad that the hackers won again. TSM can take the middle ground right now. They don't want to give up height too soon, but a huge Bangalore all rips through TSM. Very low health bars, but they're still burning luminosity, dropping onto the middle ground. It's TSM looking down on the clash of legacy and luminosity. Everyone knows they're on height, but they can't do much about it. Luminosity are hiding, legacy are hiding, and eventually TSM are gonna have to come down. How? Throws in a nice shot with the bolt, and somehow, some way, the caustic gas wins it all, and TSM win on match point. TSM, TSM. So TSM ended up winning, but it, it gives us the question, are we gonna have to start doing video games pre-recorded? That would be cringe. So this is when I come to you guys and I ask you very nicely, please do not be hackers if you don't have to be. It is If it's your favorite hobby, I don't wanna get rid of your happiness. So I suppose you can keep doing it. But for those of you that just do it as a mild hobby that doesn't make you that happy, please stop. Thank you. This is a very serious topic. Popular gotcha game streamer and anime enthusiast Lakari has successfully baited fellow Twitch streamer Soda Poppin to give advice on dealing with mean chat. Yeah, it's my chat's being mean to me again. Dude, close it, all right? You're better than them in every way. They're here to watch you and to be fanboys and fangirls of you. They're nothing, all right? Don't let them tear you down to make themselves feel better. Close it, you're above that. You look down on your chat. You know what? Take your chat and put it on the bottom of your monitor so when you look at them, you're looking down. And they're looking up. <laughs> no, they're actually not being mean. I just wanted to hear what you, you said. <laughs> They're actually being nice right now. They're just cooming. Okay. <laughs> that was the coolest thing Soda Poppins ever said, and he uses a lot of slurs. A lot. <laughs> We've seen his Twitter. I'm just kidding. I don't think he uses slurs. I think he just talks about boobs a lot, which is actually now he has a girlfriend. He doesn't do that either. Maybe Soda Poppins not cool anymore. Wait. <laughs> Frick. All right, next we have the 2024 VCT champions. Guys, if you haven't watched it, spoiler alert, Sentinels won. They won, it was massive. Masters in Madrid beating Genji three to two in the final to take home first place prize of $250,000. Can you believe that? Look, and they got a trophy. Buy the Send bundle, buy the Send. What does the Send bundle do? I don't even know. Uh, let's watch the winning moment together and let's relive it. Come on. But how much can one man do? First one found, second one not there. It's over. Sent City. Here to play, here to stay. And history has been made. 
Wow, I love Valorant. It's my freaking favorite game. I love it so much. It was a close final. It went all the way to five matches. Congratulations to Sentinels. Congratulations to all four of the boys that have girlfriends and the one that doesn't. Um, chat, you'll date him. That's the only meme I saw is that there was four of them that have girlfriends and one of them doesn't. And maybe next year, maybe next year you'll have a win and a girlfriend. Or maybe a boyfriend if you want one. I don't know, whatever you want. It's not up to me. Oh, John QT, he's the one without a girlfriend, right? Oh, John QT does have a girlfriend? Yeah, I don't know. All I know is that he got his name from me. He really did. He stole you it. You know it's supposed to mean quality tactics or something? Oh, it's supposed to mean quality tactics? Not as good as yours. Mine, mine is from I'm a cutie pie. Really? So, yeah, so we all steal somewhere. We do, that's what we're supposed to do. We're gonna cover our last new segment and it's an important one. It's about erob 221 everybody's least favorite content creator. In an attempt to make some money to pay for groceries, a longtime viewer of popular streamer erob 221 agreed to a bet to shave his head for $20. It's crazy, I'm not gonna pay him shit. Hmm? Yeah, I ain't paying you, bro. <laughs> I am not paying you, dog. Bro, I'm hustling. What do you mean you're not hey, paying me? Hey, you have a good day, bro. Not only did he exploit his viewers, he showed the jackass that he actually is. And this is this is my demand for all of us to follow Erob on Twitter because I think that we should support him and kill him with kindness so he stops being mean to his viewers because we don't know when they'll stop following him and watching him because he kind of sucks, let's be honest with each other. I saw him doing magic today, it was really, really bad. I think it was actually supposed to be science. Regardless, his career isn't gonna last very long and Emmy needs to go to college. So I could say mean things about him, but I would never do that. And I actually really, really like him.